Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told out of Voice of Radio, so today, we need to take a little bit of a look at Celebrations, you see. Celebrations is coming out in a couple of months' time, and we're in a weird situation because it's an awkward set, and there's lots of different products coming, and they have all sorts of weird things going on. So I thought today was probably a, a pretty good time to sit down and take a good old look at actually all the stuff coming in Celebrations and do a little bit of a pre-order guide. Now, I am going to start off looking at the products. There are many of them. They are awkward. I am going to talk at the end about where to order them from. Obviously, please, please, please bear in mind, I don't live where you live. Except maybe a couple of you, I suppose. What that means is, I cannot necessarily tell you exactly where the best shop near you to buy this stuff is. Because it's going to vary depending on where you live. Alright? Excellent. We'll talk a bit more at the end. So, there are a whole bunch of products coming out. And one of the things we need to bear in mind is that Celebrations is not being sold in booster boxes. Okay? can't buy booster boxes of celebrations you just can't i'm sorry what you need to do is buy individual products and somewhat annoyingly they don't just come with packs of celebrations they come with other packs of normal cards as well so starting off then on october the 8th that is where most but not all the products are coming you can get the dragapult prime celebrations collection for 15 us dollars that gives you a promo dragapult prime now i'm going to be showing you the brazilian images here purely because they have images of the promos that we don't have the promos are deliberately obscured in the english images so on the right you can see the actual dragapult prime box as it looks with the promos obscured and on the left you will see dragapult prime it's in a different collection which is coming out over in Brazil. However, you can see the promo, so I think it's worth showing off. I hope that's nice and clear. So you get your Dragapult and your Jumbo Dragapult, two Celebrations 4-card boosters, an additional booster, i.e. non-Celebrations, and a binder as well. Now, you're essentially paying $7.50 per pack of Celebrations. This is not particularly good if you just want Celebrations, but if, like me, you want Dragapult Prime, this is awesome. Now, on the same day, we are getting two different collections for slightly more money. For just $20, you can get Lance's Charizard V and Dark Sylveon V. For what it's worth, these have not been revealed. We've not seen a look at these cards at all. I'm sorry. Do remember these old promos, you know, it's Dragapult Prime. It's not legal. Lance's Charizard V and Dark Sylveon V could be. We don't know. They are Pokemon V. We'll have to find out later. But you get yourself a promo and a jumbo promo of either Lance's Charizard V or Sylveon V, the dark version. And then you get four Celebrations booster packs and two additional packs. So you're essentially paying $5 per Celebration booster pack. Given that you're getting two extra Celebrations packs and an extra regular pack for an extra $5... And all you're losing is the coin and the mini binder. I think we'll probably be okay with this one. If you just want Celebrations packs, these are better than the Dragapult Prime collection. Also on the 8th of October, and also for $20, we are getting the Deluxe Pin Collection featuring Zacian Level X. Now here you get an enamel pin featuring Flying and Surfing Pikachu. You do get Zacian Level X, which we've seen in the Brazilian products. You do not get a jumbo version here, which is sad. I really want all these jumbos. I think they're going to be cool. You get four Celebrations booster packs, which means it is, again, $5 per Celebrations pack, and two additional packs. So, basically, it's kind of the same as the other $20 set, except you don't get a jumbo promo. You do get a pin. So, again, if you're just wanting Celebrations packs, all three of these products are pretty nice. Also on the 8th of October is what I suspect most of us are going to be running for as fast as we can. The Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. Now this comes out for $50 and features 10 Celebrations 4-card booster packs. Remember, Celebrations are only 4-card boosters. 
And that is $5 per pack, but you just get more of them. Five additional booster packs, which incidentally is in line. So, so far, we are completely in line with the $20 collections. One celebrations pack per $5 and one additional regular booster pack per $10. That is the cadence we're seeing with most of these products. That is the average. But you also get a Greninja Star. Won't be legal for tournament play because it's a star. We've not seen that yet. We don't have a look at it. 65 card sleeves. And then you've got your energy cards, your player's guide, your rule book, your damage, counter dice, etc, etc. It's an Elite Trainer Box, but because it is a special set, not a regular set Elite Trainer Box, it's $50 rather than $40, and you get yourself a promo card, which in this case is Greninja Star. Whereas in a normal extra set, special set, call it what you will, ETB, you would get 10 boosters. Here you get 10 celebrations boosters, and five additional. If you're looking to just buy a bunch of packs, this is the best place to do so. Now, remember, you cannot just buy Celebrations booster packs, and all the Celebrations products come with Celebrations and regular packs. So, in terms of average price, this is exactly the same as the $20 products. You just get more in there. Now, also on October the 8th are the mini tins, and this is the one product I'm going to be skipping, frankly. This is the one that I have very little interest in. Now, these come for $9, and you get two celebrations packs and one regular pack with a coin and an art card. What I will say is you don't get a cool promo, and without any exaggeration, this might be the set with literally the best promos ever, but... Instead of paying $5 per celebrations pack, you pay $4.50. And instead of paying $10 per extra pack, you pay $9. So they do work out cheaper. If you just want the packs, this is the cheapest way to do it. But you're missing out on the amazing promos, which is maybe my favorite, or at least one of my favorite things about the set. Also on October the 8th, and this is the last thing releasing on October the 8th, we are getting the Celebration Special Collection with Pikachu V Union. This gives you your four cards that make up Pikachu V Union and a jumbo version of Pikachu V Union, as well as one copy of Professor Burnett, which we now know every V Union pack comes with one Professor Burnett. Now, this is another promo we haven't seen yet. We don't know what Pikachu V Union does. I am assuming this will be legal for tournament play because it's a V Union. But again, just like with the Pokemon Vs we mentioned earlier, there is no confirmation. When I say I think Pikachu V Union will be legal for tournament play, that is a guess. That is not a promise. There we go. And then you get yourself four Celebrations 4 card boosters and two additional boosters. Now, this is actually, in terms of buying boosters, this is the most expensive one we've seen. Because you're paying $30, and you're getting four Celebrations boosters, which works out at $7.50 per booster, which, to be fair, is actually the same price we saw from the Dragapult Prime collection. And then we are getting two additional boosters, so that's one booster per $15 spent, which is actually the same as the Dragapult Prime Collection. So these are the two that are essentially cool, awesome promos. And to be fair, right, you're getting all four parts of the V-Union and Professor Burnett. We would expect fewer boosters here. But if you're just looking for boosters, this is the worst product to buy. Now, there's then a little bit of a gap. There's a two-week gap before we get to October the 22nd, and that's when the premium stuff comes out. We get the premium figure collection Pikachu V Max. I've still not heard anything about this in Europe, which is awkward because we often don't get the plastic figures, so we'll have to wait and see. But here, you get an etched foil promo with Pikachu V Max, a foil promo featuring Pikachu V, a super-sized figure of Gigantamax Pikachu, eight packs, and three additional booster packs. We don't know for certain, but it is very, very likely that the promo here is the Pikachu Wants a Hug VMAX, which has been out in Japan for a while now. It's not guaranteed, but it's the only thing that makes sense, because we've been waiting on it and there's no other Pikachu VMAX we don't have. Now, here again, it is a little more expensive. We are getting eight booster packs in a $50 product, which means you are essentially paying $6.25 per Celebrations booster pack. 
and you're getting free additional boosters, so you get one extra booster for every $16.67 spent. It's not quite as expensive as things like the V Union Collection and the Dragapult Prime Collection, but it's not the cheapest. Now, speaking of not the cheapest, the absolute headline product here, and this is the one that I'm desperately trying to chase down. I've got a couple of leads, but this is not proven easy to find, is the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection. Now, here you get two metal cards featuring base set Pikachu and base set Charizard, a gold Pikachu V and gold Pokeball, which we imagine are going to be the same ones that have been shown off over in Japan. I did a video about the Pikachu a couple of days ago. It is worth noting that is an exclusive Pikachu which has not been seen elsewhere. It is a new Pikachu, and it is better than the other Pikachu V we've seen. So try getting a place out of that, would ya? You then get a Charizard and Pikachu enamel pin, a metal coin, 17 four-card booster packs, and eight additional booster packs. And look, and this retails for $120. And I know that these end up being more expensive than the other products in terms of packs, but you're not buying this to get packs of celebrations. Don't get me wrong, they're in there. You get 17, it's brilliant. But you're buying this for the metal cards, the gold cards. If you want lots of packs of celebrations, don't buy this. Go buy the Elite Trainer Box or the $20 products. Those are the ones, if you just want packs and cool promos, it is the $20 products, the Elite Trainer Box, and maybe the tins, but they're a bit boring. You buy this product because it's got metal cards, gold cards, a special pin, a metal coin, etc. You buy this for the cool extra stuff. It's not a product you buy for the packs, ladies and gentlemen. Packs are in there. Packs are awesome. You don't buy this for the packs. And then the one that currently doesn't have a date is the collector's chest. It's coming out in October for $25. And you get yourself six celebrations booster packs. Now, this is actually really good because this is actually cheap for Celebrations Booster Packs. We said that the cheaper products basically give you one Celebrations Pack per $5 spent. This gives you one per $4.17 spent. So it is actually the cheapest in that regard. But then you get two additional packs, which is one extra pack per $12.50, which is a bit more expensive than the average of 10. And then you get three extra promos featuring Mimikyu Delta which we have already seen, incidentally. Light Toxtricity, which we've already seen. And Hydreigon C, that we've seen from these Brazilian products, none of which are legal for tournament play. You then also get yourself sticker sheets, a mini portfolio, a coin, and a notepad. And I've said this about the collector's chest many times before. These are great, great presents to give to kids, because you get kind of a big tin, you can use a lunchbox, etc. This is the first chest I'm really excited about, because those three promos are awesome. And I know the Celebrations packs do work out a little cheaper, but the regular packs work out a little more expensive, so there we go. So those are the products which are coming out, which ones I'd recommend, and how you make your decision. I don't want to tell you what to buy. For me, I'm going to buy everything but the mini tins. But if you just want to get in on Celebrations, the Elite Trainer Box is probably the way to go. If you want the big showy off product, that is the Ultra Premium Collection. If you're buying for kids, the Celebrations Collector Chest is the best one. If you just want standard, cheapish products that represent the best value, those $20 products with things like the Lantis, Charizard, Dark Sylveon and Zashim are the way to go. So where do you actually buy them? Where do you pre-order them? And this is a bit where I have to apologize. Because I know that what you guys really want, and I understand, is what I would love to do. What you guys really want is for me to go, right, go here, they're in stock, order them. Can't do it. So here's what I can tell you. The big online stores try and avoid them. Now, obviously, if they're the only place that you can pre-order them and you want to, go ahead. I can't tell you what to do. I'm only giving you advice. Do what you like, ladies and gentlemen. That's important. But these big stores ripped us off at every opportunity. As an example, the Champions Path Elite Trainer Box hasn't really fully come back into stock yet. It's still a bit low stock. 
So it's still being sold on these sites for 750 above RRP. And you'll notice that in their listing, they have conveniently forgotten to tell you the RRP, even though in every instance where they're below RRP, they always tell you. It's dishonest. They will rip you off for every chance you get. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you buy from these big online sellers when everyone's cheap or things along those lines, you have to be okay with them scalping and ripping you off when supply is low. Because I guarantee you the Celebrations products, which are low in terms of availability and supply, they will be selling these above RRP because they've shown us that they will. They have already told us. Your first port of call should be your local game store. I am fully aware that I am lucky with my local game store. I know that not all of you are. I know you can't always use your local game store for various reasons. I am saying if you can, you should. But I understand that not all of you can. Outside of that, your third option is essentially small online sellers slash bedroom sellers. People who are generally selling in Facebook groups. They might well have a website. You need to be extremely careful with new online sellers. And I do not say this as an insult to small online sellers because I know that there are plenty out there that are doing everything right. But I am also telling you that I am a member of many selling groups on Facebook. And almost every time there's a big problem, it is small online sellers who do things like taking money for pre-orders and then not refunding it or refunding it very slowly or charging a fee to refund it. It's taking lots of orders, assuming they're going to be allocated a lot and then letting people down after they've basically told people their orders are guaranteed because they're not. Things of this nature. Things you should look out for. You should not be putting money down for celebrations pre-orders yet. Now, you might be okay with it. You may be going to your local game store. You might be happy to put the money down now because you've supported them for years. They always look after you, etc. Again, all I can do is give advice. I am not telling you guys what to do. What I am telling you is that the allocation for celebrations, i.e. the amount that each store is going to get, has not been confirmed and will not be confirmed for at least like six weeks. Probably longer. I don't have the exact date on me. So what I'm saying is now, if you are paying money for Celebrations pre-orders, the shop cannot guarantee your order. They do not know their allocation. Okay? They literally can't guarantee it. They don't know how much they're getting. So you are basically giving that shop an interest-free loan, which they may end up using to buy product for other people and then giving it to you back when they've sent the product to the other people. You should not be putting money down now, and your order is not guaranteed now. What the vast majority of responsible shops would do, and again, there are exceptions. There are shops that take pre-order money for good reasons, and customers are happy with it. I do not intend painting everyone with the same brush. I am telling you the general picture, bearing in mind professional business teacher, and I'm giving you advice. I know there are exceptions. And if you fit into an exception or your shop does, that's absolutely fine. If you do, I'm obviously not talking about you. But there are a lot of people out there, and I've already seen it, that are taking money for pre-orders and saying that the order is guaranteed. And I've seen an awful lot of excited people saying how they've already got their pre-order in and they've already paid. And I just sigh. Because the allocation hasn't been confirmed. That shop cannot know that they've got that stock coming in and we've been surprised a bunch lately and hopefully it'll be better hopefully pokemon have up production like they've said they are but don't rely on it what should be happening is that stores are taking pre-orders without money or making a wait list or something along those lines while informing you that your order is not guaranteed until they receive their allocation because that's the deal that's what is actually happening there we go I'm sorry, I cannot give you a list of shops. And if I did, by the time the video went up and they actually had stock, it would sell out immediately and it would be pointless anyway. Big online stores, 
Use them if you feel comfortable. Actually, I should mention, when I talk about big online stores, I'm talking about the ones that have been scalping. There are plenty of online stores like Game in the UK, for instance, who do sell. And Smith's in the UK is another great example where they only list stock they actually have. And they always sell at RRP, never above. And these... But these aren't the bigger online retailers I'm talking about that have been scalping at every opportunity. These are, you know, game shops and toy shops that also sell cards. You're not supporting your local game store, but these are excellent places to go. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you need to know about celebrations. I wish you luck. It's not going to be easy. But remember what we saw with sets like Champion's Path and Shining Fates. Yes, they were heavily allocated at the beginning. Yes, it was very difficult to buy stock on release. But afterwards, both of those sets kept coming back into stock over and over again. There is not a single product from Shining Fates or Champion's Path that I, I picked up every product, other than the mini tins, from both of them. And, and to be fair, I did pick up a couple of mini tins. And I never, ever paid above RRP. Some of them I had to wait a little while, and you might not get everything from Celebrations on release, but everything we've seen from Pokemon from the last two special sets has told us, even if you can't get them on release, they will be reprinted. Don't pay inflated prices unless you absolutely have to. There we go. That's my pre-order guide. When it comes to... products... I can be really good at telling you what's good and what's not. When it comes to where to buy them, I'm afraid all I can do is give you general advice. I am sorry. But now I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what you're buying. I want to know where you're buying it. I want to know anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching... PTCG Radio.